How's it going, everybody? My name is Aaron Colick, and I am one of your directors of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries at Grace Lutheran Church in Carrollton, Texas. And I am here to give you another dose of our Grow Devotion series. I am so glad that you're here with us. I hope you've enjoyed the songs that we've had for you this week. Um, my theme uh, this week, if you will, was uh, acoustic. And so kind of uh, I've been enjoying the cooler weather, at least here in... Um, the DFW area, I'm not sure where you're watching from, and it's been like beautiful weather, like 70 degree days, like 48, 47 degrees at night, it's perfect, this is perfect weather for me, I love it when it's a little bit cool, um, so I've had campfires going in my backyard, I've had, um, been outside like drinking like hot cider and stuff, and so it's just been kind of a nice chill time, if you will, and so I've been listening to a lot more like relaxing acoustic style music, and I figured, let me share that. Let me share my passion with you guys. And so I hope you've enjoyed some of the music. Uh, so far, the two songs we've had in the playlist so far have been, uh, again, Corey Asbury uh, making another drop in our Grow series uh, with Dear God. And then 10th Avenue North, the powerhouse vocal team that they are with By Your Side. Um our theme as far as like beyond the musical aspect of it is going to be our will versus God's will. Um, and I'm going to really, really expand upon that. Um, I'm going to kind of dive further in into this, but it's based on a verse from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 12, verse two. Um, and actually I'm going to pull that up real quick. I accidentally closed my window here. Um, but that's okay y'all. Cause we all have grace, and so uh, I'm reading from the NIV, and it reads, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Y'all, that is easily one of my most favorite Bible verses in the entire book. And Romans is my favorite book of the Bible. Um, the good Lutheran that I am, I suppose. And I love that the this concept of who we are and what we try to be versus what God wants us to be and who we strive to be versus who God wants us to strive to be. And so in this verse, we are given this imagery of like, don't conform to the ways of the world. And what does the world mean? Well, the world is kind of like your default mode of living, right? It's this way that you can go forth and um, try to be someone that the world wants you to be. What do you wear? What do you look like? What's your hairstyle? Uh, what do you drive? What are you eating? Where do you go? And it's just this, what's the default mode to be like, good. And that is not necessarily always in line with what God calls us to be. And so it says to set aside the ways of the world and focus on God so that you can be transformed with the way that you're thinking from the inside out is what we're going to be talking about. These songs tell a story of someone trying to do good, but they feel like it's never enough. I don't know about y'all, but I, when I grew up, I struggled a lot with guilt, um, with any time I messed up, like, oh man, I, I messed up. What if it's too much? What if this is the thing that condemns me? And it, it was this honestly kind of traumatizing way of thinking for a long time. And it took years and years until finally I started to understand a little bit more the concept of grace, our namesake, right? Um, and let's start with this first song. Dear God, I have been trying awful hard to make you proud of me, but it seems the harder that I try, all the harder it becomes. And I feel like giving up most of the time. It's this painful, sorrowful letter of grief that this man is writing to God saying, I feel like I can't ever do enough for you. Because I want to be there, but I get stuck in my head. And I all of a sudden go start going down this whirlpool of anxiety and depression and grief. And is it even worth it? It might just be easier to do what the world is telling me to do. And then there's almost like this answer a little bit, right? Of, I hope you know how much I love you and how I'm proud of you. 
and please believe the thoughts I have for you will never change or fade away. And when you felt like giving up, I never did, because I'm not scared of imperfections or the questions in your head. Just know you have always been enough. When we're transformed and we have this renewing of our mind, we start to understand what is God's will for us versus what the world's will for us is and what we consider to be our will, um, which is shaped by everything, our faith, our friends, our culture, our family, the, everything, right? And then we have God telling us, if you focus on me, that's enough. Live your life focused on me and be selfless for others and you can go forth knowing what is my good and pleasing and perfect will. By your side, by 10th Avenue North, it's this letter from God to us. Why are you trying to earn grace? Why are you crying? Let me lift up your face. Just don't turn away. I'll be by your side whenever you fall. Don't fight the hands that hold you. These are words from a God that wants to care for you and wants to love you. And sometimes we just get in our own way and say, nope, I've got this figured out. Don't worry. I know what to do. And we form our own path and we form our own will, knowing just based on history, we could look and see every time we've tried on our own, it doesn't always pan out the way that we anticipate it's going to. But when we rely on God, it might not turn out the way you anticipated, but it always turns out the way that God intends. And you can see that through your life and you can say, okay, I trust you, God. The plans that we have for ourselves are never exactly right unless we, in, and unless we allow God to enter into our lives. Going back to Romans 12, we have the reading from the message. Uh, the message is a translation of the Bible that take some liberties with how things are written, but and it makes it in a way where it's almost easier to listen to. And sometimes it, I feel like it doesn't always hit the mess, the, the message, the words that I'm looking for, but I will say this time, I feel like it's such a beautiful way to describe. So this is Romans 12 again, and it includes verses one. I'm going to read this whole thing. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, your eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings out the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. Again, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. When we trust God, the imperfections and the things that we are a little bit ashamed of don't matter as much because we know that there's a path set before us and that God's perfect and pleasing will is lived out through us. This next song that you're going to listen to is called uh, The Soldier in the Oak by Elliot Park. Um, it is beautiful. And I really, really, really hope that you pay attention and listen to every word that's spoken. It's a story. And it's a story that... I feel like is so powerful as far as trusting God's plan and knowing that sometimes the things that we think are imperfections and that hold us back can actually be our strengths. And that when we trust God and we believe in his will, we live out the lives we were meant to live. Let's pray, y'all. God in heaven, we thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for the blessings that you give us and all the things that we take for granted. Sometimes, God, we get in our own way and we get in, in this mode where we think we know best and we try to live out our own lives according to what the world dictates we should live. And that's not right. I ask that you grant us wisdom, grant us peace, and give us strength to know that we can follow your will and that that is the way to go, that it is your perfect and pleasing and good will that we strive for. In your name we pray. Amen. Y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. 
for another week of Grow, and I am so excited that you are continuously watching. Make sure that you tune in every Wednesday, and for a new list of songs, make sure you check out the description below, and you can find um, the Spotify playlist with some songs and some bonus songs that kind of go with the message as well. Thanks, God bless, enjoy this weather, go for a walk or something in this gorgeous weather in Texas, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.